a jack hanging off the back of the turret for counterweight to make up for the weight of the head here. So that'll be, that'll be just fine, right? Stuff everywhere. Hello guys, we're back in the shop. Not a big project today, I don't think. I'm not anticipating. Um, on the free mill, free bird? I don't know, I don't have a name for it. It's a mill, it's free. It was free. The head is short. There's not a lot of work area here with a vise. You get a, a chuck in there and a drill bit and then a part. The knee and table are basically on the ground and you're like bent over trying to work. And, and this is my drill press. This is replaced my drill press. So everything I drill is in here all the time. So I'm constantly like way down here trying to work, bent over. A buddy of mine got me a spacer. I think that's a four inch spacer that goes right here. So it's going to bring up the turret, turret, tret, turret, trets. This thing, the head and up and stuff up four inches it's not a lot but it's it'll help a lot this should be a pretty straightforward easy process like i said uh unbolt the head the turret raise it up slip the spacer in bolt that down bolt the mill turret down to the spacer and you're done but uh the spider and there's a spider i'll, I'll grab it you stay there this is the spider. This is what sits inside of the column of the mill. And you put bolts down through like the spacer or there's one in here now. Um, so the bolts that go down through the turret or that saddle or whatever that's called up there, that goes down and into one of these spiders and it, 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 that's what holds it to the mill base column thing back there. Um, when you put a spacer in, you need two of these because you need one to hold the spacer and one to hold the turret at the top. Unless you get really long bolts that go through that upper turret, through the spacer, and then down to the spider down below. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Uh, I just, I feel kind of funny about it. Now, the issue we have here that's going to like cause a little bit more work than what I was hoping. This spider, you see he's got four holes and this one is this that that's broke off uh i honestly the three bolts if you put this one to the back of the head because all you're drilling everything is going to be lifting on the front of the mill like if you put this broken bolt hole towards the back the front of the head is always trying to lift it's always going to be under compression in the back it'd probably be fine but since we're here, I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and do something just to get a bolt in here. If I can't super torque it down tight, eh, eh, I'm not gonna be super worried about it, but it would be nice to get at least something in there and get a little bit of torque on it just so it's there. You can see on these other ones, they have these like little raised pads. That's what gets sandwiched up underneath the ring of that column in that mill there's a ring that goes around on this inside and that's what gets sandwiched up against the bottom of that ring and then holds the top the mill the saddle the spacer down when you put those bolts in so this is raised a little bit i have an idea since that raised part is gone on here of putting a plate across here so i can put a few holes or a few bolts in that plate out here that plate can come out and that'll be the raised section that'll get sandwiched. Uh, then I'm able to drill through and I'm thinking I'm going to try and weld a chunk on here that I'd also be able to weld to that plate and just a lot of weld everywhere and then drill and tap this hole again and hopefully that's enough to like st stuff. So yeah, uh, enough babbling. Come on, get to work. Time's going. It's already like cold out. Oh yeah, little sneaker peeker of a new project that's coming up. Something I've been putting off for 
15 more years is that right there. Oh yeah, you watch for that coming up. All right, I got this cleaned up, ready to go. Uh, we're gonna do a little CAD work here. That's cardboard aided designs. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use one of these good ones to trace off of. This one looks good. We're gonna go like that. I think I'm gonna come in a ways. It's not gonna hurt it to come. I mean, you could cover this whole inside really with it if you wanted to, but I'm gonna go like that, not, not. Not that I need it, but put that there for where the bolt hole will be. Ah, cut that out. There's my, there's my CAD. Let's go find some metal and trace it on the metal now. Here's some 3 16 I think it was square tubing before and I cut it out for whatever reason. I must have needed a C channel for something. I think that'll work. You can't get too thick because, well, this is already thicker than what these pads are, but I'll have to grind on that to adjust that after we get it all machined out and welded it up and, and actually i can even leave that one lip actually maybe that would be good to have like a lip down almost like a c channel to go down and then that would brace that up so it wouldn't be just that top piece of metal hmm Dar. okay uh, i'll go on a bander saw and cut that out i'll be i'll be black all right, I got a piece cut out, yeah. That's gonna go right, yeah. Just like that, like I said, that little lip helped brace that up, I think, a little bit. I don't know, should I just goober a bunch of weld on there and drill it out, or maybe I should just cut this end right off and just weld a whole new chunk of metal on there so I'm not fighting with that cast. The center of this really doesn't matter much at all, so as long as I bolt this down, all I need is this lug here, basically, to like sandwich this end. Maybe that's what I should do. I'll just cut this off. Just weld a block of metal on the end here and that'll just work as a sandwich. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then a couple of bolts here just to hold it on. Good idea, guys. Hey, thank you. See, I knew you guys were around for some reason. Then I don't have to worry about this cast breaking again here. I just worry about it breaking up here. We're gonna make up a little square chunk and drill it and tap it. And good time, or maybe I'll just put a bolt on there or a nut. Yeah, just weld a nut on there. Well, this is getting easier and easier as we're talking about it. Oh boy. All right, I cut that off. Let's line this up. So it goes right about, yeah. Right, yeah. Will be the, be the nut. Weld the nut on there. Well, after drill a hole out. What is that, half inch? Sure. There's a nut. This nut? That's too big of a nut. Found a nice, Old school, uh, not anodized, not uh, nickel plated, not, what is that stuff that gives you that fever? Um, galvanized, it's not galvanized, it's just a plain steel nut, and it is a big one. Like here's a modern nut on top of there, it's like the next size bigger. Nice big heavy duty nut and steel, so I won't die when I weld it on. That'll, that'll twerk, that'll twerk real good. Here's a good visual of like why I'm doing this. So you get a chuck and a drill bit in here, and this is just a flat plate buried in the uh, vise here. And look at how, how low. I mean, I'm working way down here instead of like right here. Uh, adjusting stuff. Look, at I got to bend way over to adjust the knee. Look at this. The, the knee's below my knee. It's hard to beat a, a mill for a drill press. What are you saying? What's, what's that little guy there? Just don't worry about that little guy there. Now this nut doesn't need a ton of weld because it's gonna be being, when you bolt it down, it's gonna, the nut is gonna be being. This nut isn't gonna need a ton of weld because when it is bolted down and tightened up, the forces are actually pulling the nut into this plate and up against that ridge there and stuff. So it's basically, you just gotta hold it in place. I don't know if I weld across two flats, is that enough? Probably. That must have been a tractor nut. You can smell the old grease and oil and cow shit. There, good enough. Oof, we just barely caught the edge of that. Are we gonna be able to get a bolt in there?
Yeah, maybe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, dang it. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. I got a sticker on, on here. Drill some, drill some holes. There isn't a lot there. Maybe quarter inch bolts. That'll be enough. All right, we got holes drilled in there. Holes drilled in there. That should go on right now. And gotta find some bolts. There's a bolt. There's a bolt. There's a bolt. There's a bolt. Nylon locking nuts. These are grade eight bolts. That should help. Not sometimes you feel like a nut. Well, I'll drop her on the ground, why don't ya? You always see those other YouTubers with their fancy electronic gizmos zipping through fasteners like ain't no tang. Oh, that one's tight. Click, click. There she is. Now I just gotta grind her down until she matches these a little bit, I think. So here's the spacer. This is the ring. See a little bit of rock there, so I gotta grind this down just a little bit. Just a tit more. Oh, she is darn near right there. I think we're gonna leave her there because if I push down on that, it doesn't rock. So let's go get that head off the mill and see if this does what it's supposed to do. I got my C picker here. I'm gonna try not to disconnect the wiring from the VFD that's bolted to the wall here just to, just to make this more interesting than it already is. And I don't have the eyelet. I, I got an eyelet back on the LA gun, but I don't wanna pull it out for this. I think I'm just gonna use straps on both ends. I think that's how I brought it in here when I moved this mill, so. And we'll have to loosen up these locks. This should, yeah. I have to try to balance that out a little bit. Well, the wiring is on this side, so I think I'll turn her this way. Huh? 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 Like that? I'm gonna get the C picker in here before we get those other two bolts out. Just in case she wants to go somewhere. These are two inch straps. What are these good for? Like. 85,000 pounds. It's gotta be. She's, she's heavy on that end yet. What if I just hang 50 pounds off the back here? What weighs 50 pounds? She won't be sketchy at all. So I got a jack hanging off the back of the turret for counterweight to make up for the weight of the head here. So that'll be, that'll be just fine, right? Let's see what happens. Still, she's heavy on the front side, what? Oh, well, not as heavy. Oh, well, now it's like, it's like a finger's worth. I think that'll be okay. I think we're gonna be okay there. Should we pull these bolts and Stand back. Well, how long is this bolt? So here's the spider that's inside there. Okay, so now there's nothing holding it down. So if it all goes to hell, it's gonna come crashing down. Ooh, carefully. Oh, see? Oh, you only ah. See? Barely any sketchiness at all. I'm standing in your guys' way, aren't I? You guys see what's happening? Don't bounce it too much. The only thing I feel a little sketchy about is me having to work down in here with this hanging over my head. That's okay. I mean, is there even enough weight there to like sever my arm if it fell? Probably. I mean, I went over this surface with a file just to make sure it's all flat and good. There was one little nick somewhere 
And then this is all greased up as well as that surface there. Just so we don't get no rust in the future. This side is all blasted, so I think this was in front before. So I'm gonna put that in front again. And here we go. <laughs> what? You not fit? Why you no fit? Well, that's not good. This is gonna turn into a huge project here now. Oh, that ring is like, there's that little lip and she's like just ever so slightly bigger. Dang it. Now what? Now what you do? 15 inches. Yeah, I can't spin that on my lathe either. The lathe is 14 and three quarter. So it's this ring right here, this raised lip. That's like basically almost nothing bigger. Let's see if I can pull this out just a little tiny bit. Carfling. It's right there and it won't. And both of these parts are the same temperature. They've both been in the garage here. It's gotta be off a little bit. She's gotta be wrong. And there is no burr on here and no burr. I mean, there's little defects in the casting, but it's nothing raised. Do I just grind that lip a little bit? Or what about in here? Do I just grind the inside of this? I mean, that sucks, but. All right, I decided to get stupid. We're gonna go around it with the flapper wheeler here. Just quick, just to see if it's like a, like a high spot or something or whatever. Sucks to do this, but. And now there's stuff everywhere. So we gotta clean it. It's kind of neat this is scraped. Uh, do, they, do they scrape that flat or is that scraped just for oil pockets for making her smooth? All right, let's see before I oil her up. Is she gonna drop on her now? Probably not. <laughs> She's, she's same thing. I got this, this is my buddy Mike is his name. He goes on a bunch of forums, machinist forums and stuff. I kind of feel like he said when he was pulling this out, it was stuck in his mill pretty decent. So I'm just wondering if like the machining on this riser is just a little, a little tight. <laughs> Shut off into the mill. Just go in your home. This is your new home. Are you too good for your home? It is so close that when I'm pushing down and twisting it, I can actually feel it like tighten up. Like it's trying to get it in there. Oh. Just go in your home.
I just realized just now that the mics shut off probably way in the beginning of the video. <sighs> that sucks. So this video is probably going to be just a run through. You guys are going to watch like stuff happening and music's going to be playing. Quick things I wanted to say and I already said it, but the mic was off. Thanks to Mike. You know who you are for the riser. Um, got it to fit and everything's good. Uh, it didn't want to fit down in the base. The ring on the bottom of that riser was just a, just a hair too big. I had to go around with a flap disc, get it to sit down in there, but it'll be good. I'm super happy with the heist now. This is going to be way more enjoyable to use. I still got some wiring to do and a DRO to put on here. I got a, it's an old school DRO and Accurite, I think, with the like, those weird lit up lines for display, not a digital display. If you made it this far without hearing anything I was talking about and just music, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching because without you guys, well, there would be no point in making videos. So I appreciate it. If you want to see more of these videos of me fumbling around in the garage, messing stuff up and just making an ass out of myself, hit that subscribe button. I think it's down in that corner and like the videos it's free for you guys you just click that that's it and it it helps me out yeah i guess i don't know thanks for watching come back and watch the next one never know what it's gonna be i don't either dang stupid mike not you mike this mike